Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In today's video tutorial, I want to teach you how to set up SiteLock to resell it as a value-added service to your hosting packages. So for those of you familiar with us here at NameHero, we are the leaders in cloud reseller web hosting. We offer you the ability to offer your customers 100% white-labeled cloud web hosting. Most of our resellers here at NameHero offer managed WordPress hosting to their customers and are able to create a nice revenue stream monthly recurring um, even annually or six months to allow their customers to have high-speed cloud web hosting and you never see name heroes so you get to use our infrastructure but you get to resell it and brand it as your own so um, our corporate reseller package is the most popular and that's what's on your screen right now in the middle um, because it includes a free WHMCS license if you're familiar WHMCS is the most popular automated billing and, and um, provisioning platform for web host basically it allows you to set up a fully white labeled hosting website it allows your customers to go to your site and to sign up, pay, and provision their hosting accounts all in real time. And it handles all the recurring billing so you don't have to worry about um, sending out invoices or really messing with anything. Uh, the customers, they just pay the invoices, and if they don't, the system will automatically suspend their account. So it's really a nice solution for those of you that are offering reseller hosting. Uh, we have some resellers that choose not to use it, but the majority of our resellers do use it. And in recent editions of Webhost Manager Complete Solution, WHMCS, they have introduced a section called Market Connect where you can automatically um, tap into other services such as SiteLock. Now, here at Name Hero, we personally, I don't resell SiteLock at Name Hero. We have our own website protection service, but I have had resellers ask me before, you know, how do I offer this? How do I offer my customers um, SiteLock or, you know, what else can I do to make more income? Well, I want to let you know, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, but I do want you to know that at Name Hero, we offer free and automatic um, malware scanning each night so essentially it's our own version of site lock that we have here so for you and your customers we automatically scan all accounts um, regardless and um, if we detect malware we will automatically quarantine that to save your customers from getting hacked or exploited or anything like that um, and of course we let you know and in, inside of a ticket if something comes up if we find something and we let you know but SiteLock, nonetheless, is another good solution that also helps prevent and protect sites from malware. Um, you know, and, and some of the biggest hosts out there, such as HostGator and Bluehost, they use SiteLock um, pretty heavily in all of their packages, and they use it as a big upsell. So if you uh, ever bought a hosting package from them, it's likely that you've seen it. It's actually owned by the same company that owns um, HostGator and Bluehost, so it only makes sense that they're really offering it as an upsell. But nonetheless, it's also another way to get more revenue out of your hosting customers, so it's just not just the host and you can make more money. So I'm going to show you in this video how to set it up. The first thing you want to do is log into your WHMCS backend. So on our screen right now is um, what I get as soon as I log in. And you can see they've got a um, little pop over here that shows you um, some of the new things that are available with the latest version of WHMCS. So I'm just going to close this out. But if you scroll down here on your main dashboard, you're going to see a section. And, th and again, this is the newest version of WHMCS. This is version 7.5.1. So if you're on an older version, you might want to upgrade to kind of follow along here. But but you can see Market Connect, and it shows the different um, things that you can sell. So you can sell SSL certificates by Symantec. Now remember, at Name Hero, we offer free and unlimited SSL certificates for you and your customers. So we don't see a lot of people reselling SSL anymore. Now Symantec does have some, um, you know, some upgraded SSL certificates that include like the green bar and stuff like that. So and we still sell some of those here at Name Hero. As some people, um, you know, they want to add that. So that's always an option, and we believe another big one. I'll probably do a separate tutorial on that. But the other one is SiteLock. So I'll, I'm going to highlight that one. And then we have a Spam Experts, which I might cover all of these in their own tutorials um, eventually. But today we're going to talk about SiteLock. So all you do is click on Manage here by Market Connect. And it wants our password again. So let's. And now we're in Market Connect. So you can see this comes up. And they've got a little tutorial. So if you're not familiar with it, you can go through it. And it kind of talks about, you know, all the, um, what it does and how you implement it. And it's got, uh, I mean, just kind of step-by-step tutorials on what to offer and how to do it. But um, I'm going to end this. Feel free to go through it if you want to. Um, but the first thing that you have to do is you have to create an account with Market Connect. So this is actually where you're going to create a separate account. Look at this like our domain reseller account. You're going to create an account and then you're going to be able to fund the account and offer these reseller services. So you can log in or you, you can either use your login or you can create a login. So I'm going to click here to create one. 
I've got um, just my information that comes in by default. So, you know, they make things as easy as possible. I agree to the terms, click create account. And now I'm good. Okay, so I've got to um, verify my account, but you can see it actually will fund this account and it's going to give you points. So then as you use, as you resell the services, then you can top it off. So you click right here to deposit funds. So SiteLock is right here. So again, this is malware scanning, detection, removal, plus they have a firewall and CDN. You can click learn more and this will bring up even more information about it um, you know kind of what it does and and you can use these for your sales page you know use this for um, your forward-facing website um, to all the features that the customers get you have site lock light which is free then you have pricing so you can see down here that there's a there's an annual cost for this one and then it's monthly your cost is $7.99 they recommend $14.99 your cost here is $21.99 they recommend $49.99 so basically you know you're gonna pay a portion and then the rest of it you you upsell it so then you um, yeah, increase the price and then and that's your margin so the our RRP is a recommended price they recommend you sell it at. And of course, your cost is your cost. So anything over your cost is your profit. And again, they've got the find, fix, defend, and emergency. And I don't think you can, um, the emergency you just have to buy right off the bat. I believe that's where they actually go in and fix a site if it's already been hacked. So all I'm going to do is click activate on this. Um, activate now. Service activated successfully. Okay. Now, when we activate it, you can click on Manage, and this is what, you, what allows you to start selling it. So if you have a customer in here, you can, you can select them right here and add it to their account. Um, you can look at products here, what they have. Um, you know, here's the different products that you set up in your system. Um, if they're enabled, so for example, the light is free. Um, and then here's the recommended price, your cost, recommended price. So if you want to change the pricing, you can do that here. Um, you know, if you want to sell for more than $24.99, you, it's, you know, it's up to you. If you want to go less, then you can do that as well. And so that's for each package. You can configure all the pricing, um, you know, per package that you want to add. So um, promotion settings, this is where it's actually going to display to your customers. So, for example, you can have it display in the client area. Um, on the product list, on the product details, on the shopping cart or the checkout or all of them. So I like just to enable it all and then go through my order flow and see, um, you know, where exactly if I want to remove it or, or leave it. And then, of course, there's some other settings like auto assigned add ons, landing page links and include site launch by default. Um, so this is going to automatically pre select it, which is pretty powerful. So now if I go over to my site and hit refresh, I'm not going to have it right off the bat, but you'll see a category called website security. So you can see it automatically makes a landing page with your prices. So your customers can come right to this page and look, it's got all these features already um, and kind of a nice design page, you know, and again, this is all your brand on your site. So it tells all about site lock and your customers can simply select what they want and they can click buy now. And they can just buy, um, they can buy SiteLink um, right off the bat. So it's again, you can choose an existing domain or a domain they already own. So for example, we could just type in namehero.org and valid, click check out. And they could go buy SiteLink from you um, just right off the bat. Now, I don't have any web hosting packages set up. So let me show you what it looks like if they're going to order web hosting from you. So let's just set up a, a dummy um, package, so to speak. So products and services, products and services. Um, create a new group. Let's call this shared hosting. We're just going to leave that default. Leave that default. Save changes. And let's create a new product in there. Product group, shared hosting. This is a hosting account. So let's say this is our basic package. Click continue. Um, we're going to call this 50 gigabyte space, 500 megabytes bandwidth. And then you could put whatever else you wanted in here. My welcome email, just the basic hosting. We want to require a domain. We're not going to worry about stock control or tax or featured or anything like that. Save changes. Pricing. Let's just say this is recurring. Let's just say this is monthly for seven. Whoops, seven ninety-five a month. And you can. I'm just going to leave this stuff default, but you could change it up to meet your settings. Module settings. We're going to make this a cPanel 
account because this is going to tie into our um, web host manager. So I need to set up the package inside of web host manager right quick. So I'm going to go to my name hero client area, click log into WHM, go to create, add a package. And again, this is our basic, basic. And let's go back to here so we can just look at what we called it. 50 gigabytes of space. So that's going to be 50,000 megabytes, 500 megabytes of bandwidth, 500. We'll leave the rest unlimited. Uh, park domain zero, add on domain zero, because it's just for one domain. We're going to click add. Now we can go back here, module settings, refresh, and we've got our basic package. Now we want to automatically set this up as soon as the first payment is received. Click save changes. So pretty standard stuff here. Now, if we go back to our shopping cart here, let's just empty it, click yes, and we go back to our site, order hosting is here, and you can see the package we just created for basic hosting, click order now. Now, let's say someone's going to register a new domain, let's see your name, hero, tutorial, 2018, hopefully no one's taken that, and they have not, so continue. So this is like a customer's gonna register a new domain. Now you can see they've got their billing cycle, but now SiteLock shows here. And so automatically it's gonna have a free version, um, and then they can upgrade per year, per month here to the fixed or find. So let's just say they go to the find for $24.99 a year and click continue. So that automatically sets them up with SiteLink. And again, you can choose your domain registration option, say ID protect. And it also shows SiteLink here. So you can see it starts to show up in many, many different places. So if we go back to here and we go back to our home page, go down here to manage under Market Connect, we can change where some of this shows because since it shows so many places, we probably don't want it shown everywhere. So on the home page, okay, cool, product list, yeah, product details. Um, we probably don't want to show it on the checkout. So we'll take it off there so it's not showing here again because it gets a little redundant. Whoops, and we probably need to do view cart too. So let's take those off. Let's make sure it's saved. Promotion settings, yes. So now it's not gonna show here. Okay, so let's just go back and make sure that it didn't show when we go back through here. Let's just do another demo here. And so this is just a little trial and error, you know, it's where you want it. So it's gonna show as an add-on here, but it's not gonna show again and again and again. So you know, that's what I reckon. You don't want it to be completely redundant because you kind of don't want to cram it down their throat. Um, you know, but you can include it by default, which I think is pretty good because that's, um, it, they call that kind of like a, a forced stop sale or, or auto opt in. Um, because the chances are if it's automatically selected, then people are going to be more likely to order the product. Uh, but that's really all there is to it. Now, as soon as the user goes through and checks out, um, and I've got a good bit of stuff in my cart. As soon as they enter their first name, last name, billing address, and complete their payment with PayPal, then it's going to automatically set it up. And they're going to have site link. They're going to have hosting and everything right off the bat. Now, remember, this will not activate unless you have funds in your account. So you can see I don't have funds. So I would, click, I would need to click Deposit Funds and you're gonna be redirected. And I would need to add points. So it starts at $20 and then you can go on up from there. Now remember, it's your cost. You can look at your cost, what the pricing is like right here. So like the fine, for example, if they order that for $24.99, your cost is $17 a year, so it's $1.42 a month. So it's gonna be $17 deducted out of your account, but you're getting $24.99. So that's, the rest of that's profit. You collect the full $24.99, and it's just gonna work off of your deposit here. So they make it very, very simple to begin upselling this. I mean, it's really hands off. There's not a lot of configuration that goes into it. You know, you just have to set it up inside of here, and then you really start selling it. And it it's an easy way to make additional revenue, um, you know, using a, a service that most people are familiar with. And, you know, I really like how they, you know, they put everything in here and they have a, a landing page for it. So all you have to really do is just enable it inside the admin area, um, set your pricing, and then you're off. And, um, you know, many of our customers um, have been asking, you know, how do I add up sales? Well, this is how, and this is the easiest way, and they make it very um, kind of straightforward. So let me know if you have any questions, um, and I'd be more than happy to help answer it. But good luck with your up sales and setting 
everything up. I will do other video tutorials for the other options inside of there because I feel like those are important as well. And also WHMCS, you know, they've, they've just developed this Market Connect in recent versions. So I'm, I'm sure they're going to continue adding more and more type of products, which is super exciting for all of us resellers out there. So thanks for watching and using NameHero.com.